Hello everybody, my name is Braden Carlisle, and today we've got another episode of I Promise I Read This Book and Didn't Just Look at the Table of Contents. So what is it? Well, we've got a book here written by Ryan Schlutz, and the title of that book is False Anchors. Now, False Anchors is a bit of a different case, as this hardcover book is actually a collection of three previously published booklets. Now, I do know that there is some new stuff in this collection, but I don't own the previously published booklet, so I can't say what's new and what is recycled material. However, this new collection is a limited edition and comes with an extra gimmick that is necessary to perform one of the effects in the book. I'm also adding a section at the end of the book reviews called What Makes This Worth It, and I will say my favorite entry in the book, but that comes later. First, how's the quality of the book? I'm glad you asked. I have mixed feelings about the quality of the book. On the cover, it features a very minimalist design with the title and the author. Inside, it has 127 pages and over 100 beautiful full-color photographs. The only issue that I have is the text is a bit small. This is an example of the text size, just in case you wanted to know. I can't take off too many points for that though. Maybe I'm the only one that had issues with the text size, but it had me straining my eyes for a bit and I, I did have to take a break or two when reading it. But what is in the book? I am glad you asked. Every trick in the book is a card trick. There's some amazing routines here though. And how many of what is there? Well, there are 22 chapters and of those chapters, there are 15 card tricks, six moves for lack of a better word, and one essay. As for how the book is laid out, for the most part, the formatting follows this formula. Discussion. How? Recap. Further thoughts. But sometimes while the discussion section is still there, the physical word and heading of discussion in the book is not there. Other times there is a further thought and also an additional thought after the further thought. It just seems a bit jumbled and that goes for some of the effect descriptions and instructions as well. Unfortunately, sometimes the thoughts seem disorganized and non-linear, making it hard to follow at some points. I find myself rereading a lot in magic books, but it was happening a bit more often with this book. Those are small gripes though for me, and shouldn't really be considered to be detrimental to the material as a whole, which is great. And that brings us to the quality of the routines and ratings, which I give this book for the routines a solid 8 out of 10. And I know what you're thinking if you know me, you're like, Brayden, you hate card tricks. And yes, I hate card tricks. I, I do rarely like card tricks in all actuality. So why am I giving this such a high rating? Well, I'm viewing this book in both the context of my contempt of card tricks and also card tricks as a whole. As far as routines with cards go, these rule. I haven't addressed this yet, but False Anchors is Ryan Schlutz attempting to create routines that are seemingly hands-off, like 100% hands-off. Not self-working, but seemingly hands-off. You plant False Anchors in the spectators' minds, and that to me is interesting both as a concept and because it works. Now, a lot of the material is good for both close-up and parlor, which is fun. Most card material is either or, so it's cool that most anybody will be able to fit these routines into their already existing work. I wouldn't really recommend performing this material one-on-one -on -one, though, like in a walk-around setting. That's just me. Some of the material is pretty impromptu, and others require ample preparation. They all have very clear goals of what they're accomplishing though. Now, that does not mean that they have a script or prepared patter, so the reader will have to write their own script, which to me is a good thing. Magicians should write their own stuff. Here's my favorite part about what's in this book though. Most things in this book feel nothing like a card trick that I've seen before. It's easy to come up with a new A can or wow, a new way to perform triumph, but coming up with original card magic plots is tough. But what's my favorite thing in the book? This is a new section of my reviews and it's one that I'm really looking forward to. I know I'm calling it my favorite thing in this book, but it goes a bit beyond that. Here's the thing, when I buy a magic book, I feel like the purchase is justified if I find just one thing, just one thing that I'll actually use in the real world. So that's what this section is. What in this book justified the purchase for me? And actually it's the first effect in this book that did it. It's an effect called I love you. And here's what the effect is. While your back is turned, the spectator shuffles a deck, then cuts to a card, looks at it, puts it back. The spectator can shuffle again, and then 
you can turn around. You don't have to look at anything. And as soon as they give the cards back to you, you are able to find their card. Exactly. It, it's so good. And here's why I like it. This is the best effect in this book, in my opinion. You never touch the cards. You don't touch the cards. There's also an intimate exchange between the spectator and their chosen card that will make them remember this routine very differently and makes it so much stronger for that reason. There's a hook there that will cause them to remember this routine over most card tricks. So what are the pros of this book? One, it comes with a really cool gimmick. I know I didn't talk about it much because I'm focusing on the book, but it's well made and it works for what it needs to do and that routine is pretty darn cool. Two, everything is seemingly hands off. And now what is the con of the book? Well, everything is seemingly hands off and I know I put that with the pros but while I understand that that was the purpose of false anchors I also feel like it limited Ryan Schlutz and what he was able to include in the book now make no mistake the materials in this book are fantastic but I want to see more of what he can do outside of this condition that he set himself and so what's the final verdict what are my final thoughts well I'll be honest here and I was being honest before but I'm going to continue to be honest now I had no idea what this book was going to be about when I bought it. I knew it was cards, and I knew people enjoyed the False Anchors booklets previously. I'm glad I bought and read this book. It isn't cheap at $75, but it does come with a special gimmick which helps justify the price, and if you're into card magic, it's worth it. Now, if you've made it this far, please listen to the next couple seconds. Uh, most of my views don't actually come from subscribers, so if you like my my reviews and you're watching this please subscribe it helps small channels like mine more than you know when you do press the like button and subscribe and ring the bell and all the youtube things i, I know i'm making a joke out of this because i don't like talking about it but if you can like and subscribe please do it really does help so i will see you guys next time with another whatever